Hey guys, we're Lydia and Ethan, and this is our barn studio. Let's go. barn studio today we are going to be working on a new song and we wanted you to be able to come along with us on this project so many of you guys have been messaging us constantly on our last studio video saying do more recording studio videos and we've been kind of just pushing it off pushing it off because we really haven't been recording very much but today we took the day off of work and we are spending the entire day up in the recording studio to, to record one of Lydia's newest songs. This is a song that we started working on months ago. We have not even opened the project or listened to it in probably about two months. So I think it's gonna be pretty eye-opening when we listen, especially because the last time Ethan sat down and worked on this, he apparently changed everything. So I was working on this song about a month ago and we literally have not sat down to just work on this and get through it at all. And Lydia hasn't even heard any of the changes, but it's been a month, so I barely even remember the changes I did. So we're both gonna listen to it right now and we'll kind of see Lydia's reaction of how she likes it. Let's, let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's a good one. She very- I get so nervous. I Any song that I wanna keep really simple, Ethan puts an orchestra in it or does something crazy and- She usually likes it. Usually, so we'll see. Okay, here we go, we're gonna about to play it. Okay, before we get started, I wanna do like a little bit of a rundown on our setup here. So we are running off a MacBook Pro. We are using all universal audio stuff. So we've got a Apollo X4 here, Apollo 8P, and the universal audio satellite. So if you didn't already know, I really like universal audio. I do all of the mixing, and everything like that and editing and all of that for Lydia's music. Lydia does the instruments and the singing and the looking good part. And the writing part. And the writing part. Um, so yeah, I'm a big universal audio guy for those uh, audio nerds out there who like gear. Nothing better than universal audio. I love it, love it, love it. Right now I'm gonna play a little bit, we're gonna play this song for Lydia. I'm gonna give you little snippets of it because this song has not came out yet. So we're gonna show you her reaction, but then we're gonna get into the meat of how we record. Um, you'll see us making decisions on parts. You'll see us recording Lydia, all that stuff. Here we go. Lydia wrote this song with our daughter Scarlett. And I love you, Spirit. This is the iPhone recording. I love It's, it's a nice little fun worship song that Lydia wrote with, with our daughter, Starly. It's pretty good. Initial impressions. Fun. It's just too, the verse is really chill. It doesn't support the melody. Like, listen. Like, the melody is very, like, has, like, a lot of, like, 
it's, fluid uh, movement and it's very smooth. It's like it's like a wave like coming in and then pulling back out and then coming in, pulling back out. And when you have like that, dun, 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 mm -hmm. dun, that feels like you're like getting ready to run. Okay, so we paused the video for a little quick minute there because we were just trying to figure out some layers. So basically we have, in the first course, we have a bunch of different things going on. We have this piano going. We have this pad. That pad. Woo! We've got this. Which is actually, I forgot to tell you, that was one thing I added. I added birds. It's like a little pad with little chirps in it. It's just like a fun little texture. You can barely hear it, but it's in there. And this uh, cello, which, there you go. It's nice, very calm. And then we just now added this weird pad uh, echo chamber thing. It's like kind of got that bird chirping thing going on. So then when you put it all together, you get this like... Okay, so Lydia just had a super good idea. We're just listening to this little verse and it goes like this. Do like an ad lib over top with like a high pass filter. And I can barely stand it. So it'll be like really airy, kind of in the back, and he'll high pass it so it doesn't sound so raw. And we'll do like tons of reverb, and it'll sound like she's shouting from another room or something. Yeah. And then, and this is usually what we do is usually we have like a raw lead vocal and a piano and that's kind of like our building that's our foundation and then we'll start adding all these different ideas as they come along and then as we sometimes we add so much stuff to our to our song that it's just a bunch of craziness and we'll start trimming the fat away and picking our favorite stuff and by the end we have this incredible song we go really big and then we have to take it in which but. i feel like that is that little line you just thought of is gonna be really cool yeah i think it'll be good Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna record it right now. And I can barely stand it. Moments later. It's really hard to record to record while you're recording. Um, but we've got some super sick vocal layers going on that Lydia recorded. I'll show you them right now, soloed out. Just to look into your eyes, just to look into your eyes. That's all I'm showing you. That's it. It's gonna sound really good. So that's like everything. And we got some not mixed, not. There's some ad, some of those ad lib things. Yeah. They're gonna be like really far back, pan to the left or the right, and. Yep. Added All a that. nice guitar. Well, it would have been cool if we actually played, but there you go. That's sounding really good. Our drum section in this bridge is legit. Listen. To that. Sounds like a freaking marching band coming up the middle. Well, that sounds good. I'm digging it. That's all you get. You're gonna have to stream the song. It's going good. Song. It's going really good. So as you guys can probably tell just by hearing the microphone on the camera in this room, it's a definitely live room where there's a little bit of echo and whatnot. Um, you'll hear it more on this camera than what 
way, well, really way, way more than you would on the studio microphone, just because the way we have this microphone gained up. We do need to do a little bit more acoustic treatment, but everybody always comments, they're like, it's so loud, so echoey in there. But we use this little uh, vocal shield right here that you can see, and we have the microphone gained really well so that the echoes of the room really don't get caught much in the microphone. Um, moving over here, we do have people ask all the time like where we got this studio desk. It's pretty sweet. We have a full keyboard um, thing underneath of it. Uh, there's a bunch of like awesome wire management behind it. This is the Output uh, studio desk made by Output. They also make plugins and whatnot. Um, easily one of the best purchases we made for our studio because just having a space to like have our built-in like Furman, and rack mounts and stuff like that all in here is just really nice when we're not recording we can just shove our apollo right back into this little duct thing and then when we get some like analog compressors and stuff like that one day we have extra space to put those um but it's just been great overall it's just a really great space for this whole area for us to record um, we've got nice little couches over here um for friends if they're in here while we're recording which we've had before um, just kind of nice chill area to um, do everything when we're recording. And then we usually just set Lydia up right here to record our vocals, literally just right um, in the middle of the room so that when she's singing, she can be kind of like looking off into the corner of her eye at the computer screen to kind of get a gauge of where she's at. So guys, this song has literally gone from a tiny little like intimate acoustic style song into this big dramatic like production with tons of drums as it always does whenever I take over. Um, but it sounds amazing. We're really, really happy with it. Uh, so the song is not out yet, but if you're watching this even a few weeks from now, um, we will include the link to this finished song in the description below so that you can listen to it all the way through and enjoy the beautiful sonic glory of this song. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Mastered by a platinum mastering engineer. It's, it's going to be true. incredible. He's Thank amazing. you, Luke Pimentel. You were the bomb. Um, so yeah, it is going to be amazing and available anywhere where you stream music. So check it out in the description below. And if you have questions um, for our setup, what we do, um, we, uh, we respond to all of our comments. So if you have questions, comments, anything, comment below, right in the box below. We do respond to every single one. So we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear ideas that you might have. Um, and if you have questions about our setup or how you could get into recording, let us know. So as always, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you back soon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We've got a lot of great videos coming out with recording and a lot of other stuff throughout our life. So we'd love for you to subscribe, come along for the journey, like, comment below, all those things. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. In our next video, we're gonna be doing an entire studio tour. So don't miss that video. Check it out. Make sure you subscribe. We've got awesome videos coming out every single week on the Lydia and Ethan channel. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.